Chill, 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 chill. Oh, How dope was that? It was cool. I don't even know why he's back from Kiko. Yep. Did you like that? Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I like, Yanni. You know? Now that's the ish. I don't even know. You know, like when we tell guys that yeah. talk like uh, girlfriends, no music, mm -hmm. people don't Mute. even believe our That's true, yeah. Mute. Mute. Yo. Mute. Here on Y254 TV. My name is Philine at Philine Zin across all socials. The hashtag is Rock254. And of course, I'm with our DJ right here. His name is Q Skills. And of course, I told you we'll have a guest joining us today. And today's guest actually, um, he's a singer, he's a guitarist, he's a scientist, he's a programmer. <laughs> well, and he actually calls himself a wizard, so he's a possible wizard. I don't know how true that is, <laughs> but we want to find out. Welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. You know, okay, I, I, told, those, I told everybody, I, I've just told guys about you and everything, but I didn't tell them your name, so kindly yeah. go ahead and reintroduce yourself and tell the guys at home your name. That would be interesting. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? My name is uh, George. Government name is George Gashiri. You know, my stage name is Hybrid Intuition. You know. You know, yeah. because it's all about art and science and how you can mesh the two together and create mm -hmm. you know, artistic pieces that uh, can, can access different people. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm an actuary. Uh, that's initially my name was Hybrid Actuary. Then a lot of my actuarial buddies told me, nah, 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 nah. Nobody, nobody cares about actuary. You know, they're <laughs> chumai, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're so yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to switch it out. Hybrid <laughs> intuition. What does that actually mean? So yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's basically um, intuition is just your sixth sense, mm -hmm. right? And that's how I approach playing the guitar. Yeah. So you know, when I learned how to play the guitar, it was you know the first guitar teacher who I met was a guy from Mombasa, mm -hmm. and then he just taught me patterns, right? So I didn't really go into the theory of music. So you know, he was always telling me, you know, be intuitive, just go with the flow. And then, you know, the trust your intuition, trust your gut. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how I actually play the guitar. It's like I understand music theory, but it's mostly I go with the feel, you know, of the vibe. Yeah. So I wanted the name to match my abilities, yeah. you know. My energy. My energy. Exactly. And that's what you're all about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So um, just give us a little bit, uh, just a little bit background about you. Uh, you as an artist now, you as a musician, just give us a little bit of uh, a background and how you actually got into, you know, music. Because you are a singer, not just a guitarist. So tell us about all that. We really know everything. Tell us everything. Okay, cool, cool. 
So yeah, I mean, as a kid growing up, I remember, you know, I used to listen to, to rock music, actually. You know, uh, I remember, you know, whenever I used to cry, my mom used to play some rock tunes, then I would stop crying. Yo. So, so from the get, <laughs> from the jump, I've always been a, a, a rocker. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, when I went to primary school, I started listening to a lot of hip hop. So a lot of my buddies were rappers, mm -hmm. you know, then when I went to, to high school, that's when I met one of my buddies, Alvin, Alvin mm -hmm. Mwangi. Yeah, shout know, out shout to out Alvin. To Alvo, yeah. Chapel Cop, uh, you mm -hmm. know, I went to Alliance. But anyway, oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's usually a meme. Do you know I went hashtag? But you, you, you have to throw it in <laughs> there. So you yeah, you have to. Rep yeah, yeah. your crew. Yeah. Yeah. Rep your crew. Bush, <laughs> bush life. Yeah. But yeah, so anyway, <laughs> so my buddy, Alvin Mongi, was the chapel cop, and he mm. had a guitar. Yeah. I remember he taught me my first song, which was Creed, One Last Breath. Yeah. Yeah. I have forgotten how to play it. You know, I can't just it now. Yeah. I, uh, I'm no longer. Uh, <laughs> I'm no longer holding my breath. But anyway. Yeah. So so what happened is, um, yeah, I, that's where my, my love for the guitar began. Yeah. And then when I left high school, I met Alvin. Alvin was now working in a cyber cafe. Remember when we used to have you know cyber well, cafes? Music yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he introduced me to some instrumental guitarists, guys yeah. like Joe Satriani. Yeah, Satriani you know, people yeah. like Steve Vai, people like yeah. Yigwe Malmsteen, yeah. Paul Gilbert, those yeah. kind of guys technical guitarists. Uh -huh. So and I really liked, especially I watched a video on YouTube with Joe Satriani. He was playing Searching in Tokyo, <laughs> G3, and it was so good. I was like, yo, I'm going to keep on playing the guitar. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. you know, that, that's, that's what uh, made me uh, continue down the path. Then I got a jazz guitar teacher. And uh, the jazz guitar teacher, you know, is actually who woke me up. He's called Morris. Ah. Yeah, so he taught me yeah. j some jazz stuff because I was like, hey, yeah. Yeah. I just want to play metal, man. I want to play some guitar solos. <laughs> yeah. stuff. Then he was like, hey, okay, let me teach you. So he used to give me a, a, a guitar, you uh -huh. know, technique. Uh -huh. Then he walks out of the room uh -huh. for like 20 minutes. So I'm just over there like... You know, just playing it, playing it, playing it. And then you, go, you got the hang of it. Got the hang of it. Yeah. But funny enough, it took me like two weeks to learn a C chord. You know, the C, the C yeah, chord, go, yeah. which is that one, yeah. which you can learn very easily. Yeah, yeah. So it took me a while. And I was playing the guitar, I was holding it like this. It's like, yeah, yeah. Buddha, relax. Then I'm like, hey, yeah. no, no, go forward. Like, this, <laughs> you know, this hand should be like this, you know. So he taught me, he taught me to be just calm and to play easy, with yeah. presence, easy vibes. Mm. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. That's it's quite it. an interesting story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Alliance mm. all the way to where we are. Yeah. <laughs> right yeah. now. Yeah. Anyway, so can you just maybe tell us about your creative process? How is that like? How do you come up with new stuff? And do you actually write your own lyrics? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I do mm -hmm. everything by myself. Right. And how, how so I come up with stuff, you know, to be honest, how mm -hmm. I do it is like, for example, I'll take the guitar. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be like, mm -hmm. okay, let's... And then just noodling on the guitar. Mm -hmm. Then s your fingers somehow know yeah. what to press. Yeah. Yeah. And then it creates something weird. And you're like, hey, yeah. what's that? <laughs> and then you go yeah. back to it, and then you build something on top of it. Yeah. You know. yeah, for, for those guys who don't understand this terminology, noodling on the guitar is just like playing around, fiddling, just playing around <laughs> randomly. That's yeah. noodling. We have, we have a guitar whisperer. Exactly. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is how you get schooled, you know. This is yeah, how you yeah. get schooled. <laughs> it's very still. He, he, he's like very happy because he's yeah. actually our music teacher. Yeah. So uh, today, he's just like, yo, we have a guitarist. He's a mm. guitarist dad. He actually mm. wears tees with that. Yeah. Guitarist yeah. dad are cooler. Now, just like normal dads, yeah. But they're cooler, much cooler. Yeah, you get cooler, yeah. <laughs> he actually says that a lot mm -hmm. now. George, now, so uh, being a guitarist, you can either do solo or be in a band. So, how does that work out for you? Are you in a band at the moment? Mm -hmm. Do you have solo projects? Which bands have you played for? You know? played with? Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, actually the first band that I played for was Dove Slim. Yeah, you know? back then, yeah. Dove Slim, mm -hmm. uh, Saidimu, shout out, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, hey, Wam V yeah. and Jillian back yeah. in the day, you know, yeah. there was, yeah. So, so that was the first band I played for, then I left it. Um, then I joined uh, Kanyeki, you know, yeah. you know, where I joined as the, the rhythm guitarist. Yeah. <laughs> Just replace somebody yeah. over here. Replace somebody, you know. So me, me and Hugh Skills were, you yeah. know, in the same band. Yeah. I, I yeah. left him there. You know, and then now, I, you know, it, yeah. while, I, while I left um, yeah. Old Mute, when I left where I was um, working, uh, where I was working yeah. you know, I, that's when I decided to now pursue music um, and to work on my, my album, my very first solo album. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how I went about it is, you know, you just come home after work in the evening, get your guitar out, noodle, as mm -hmm. you've been told, you know, <laughs> what noodling is. And then uh, through that process, come up with tracks and come up with songs. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I was able to make my very first album, which is an instrumental album with 15 tracks. Yeah, it came out four years ago, actually. Awesome, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. yeah. So yeah, as of now, as of now, I'm just doing solo mission. 
Uh, you know, because I because I figured out that I'll you know, be better off as a. But you've also guy. been seen severally backing up Rish. Oh yes, also yeah. with Rish. Yes, there's always summer in Africa. You uh, know, there's a time I was also playing uh, with Rish. If, with if, Absula. Oh, you've played Absulos around. Yeah, Absula, Colasso, uh, Jessica Colasso. He has played for so many people, mm, and that is so mm, interesting. Mm, Even mm. when Zain Absula was here, yeah, you was <laughs> he played for her yeah, on stage as well. Yeah, that, that was, was really fun. It was West Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Twenty more days. I even just yeah, yeah, for Saimo. Saimo, man. You're watching this, Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been around the block. Yeah, yeah, journey from the block. <laughs> right, so um, how often do you practice? Because, you know, I, I'm told, like, if you, you don't do it often, yeah. you rush or something. So yeah, how, how often do us, you yeah. I'll do be, that? Yeah, I'll be honest. So when I started playing the guitar, I used to practice for around five to seven hours a day. What? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, 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 it was pretty intense. I remember I was getting cuts on my fingers, yeah. you know. But then uh, that stopped around, like, six years ago. So since then, I've just been... Because I, I put so much focus on it, on the mm -hmm. technique, on the mechanics of yeah. playing the guitar. Nowadays, I don't practice that much. Oh, I know. I, and I should be practicing, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'll even call myself. Same story, yeah. Same story yeah. for I should be practicing. But in all honesty, I've not been practicing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So, um, how, how do you think, like, being 2020, and there's a lot happening on social media and everything, how yeah. do you think social media has impacted the level of musicians like you? Like, you know, before, you come up with something, and you have to either go on a radio station or come here to yeah. launch it. Yeah. But how has that impacted you um, uh, as a, a guitarist? I mean, I think it's oh, huge. I, yeah. think, I think social media is the great equalizer that we have. Right. And what does that mean? It means that now people can put out their content. Mm -hmm. Like you have YouTube, you mm -hmm. have Instagram, mm -hmm. you have, you know, you have TikTok. You know, if yeah. you want to talk to yeah, Generation yeah. Z. Yeah. Yeah, now <laughs> you, you have Twitter. Yeah. And so what that does is that it puts you on this platform where you have access to so many other people who would yeah. have never had access to your music or your content. Yeah, then true. you get feedback from the market. Right? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you know, you know if, you're, if you're actually good oh, or if, just you're <laughs> <laughs> if you need to improve, kid yeah. But even that in itself is content. Like, yeah. You don't have exactly. to wait to be an amazing guitarist for you to put out content. So I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I think uh, uh, social media has really helped in terms of just putting Putting the artist first mm. and yeah. making you have access to a large audience, and then doing collaborations. Yeah, building yeah. up. Like Rich, Rich and Max did a thing, you know, yeah, on yeah, the yeah, YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. Tamu, Tamu. She's not even Kenya, and you know, yeah, like, so yeah. you know? he's Mexican. Mexican, right? You know, I Brazilian, think Brazilian, he's, he's, uh, oh, Brazilian. Brazil stuff, yeah. 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 I think it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Latin yeah. vibes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Latin. Latin. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. and, and just being able to mash the two together and yes. do something great. This yeah, is like the power of social yeah, media. Exactly. You know, and speaking I of social media yes. and practicing, how, you know, okay, we're going to talk about COVID, you know, mm -hmm. how is it, it has, it's, it's actually affected so many people. Yeah. But then that also means you've had enough time. So how has quarantine uh, been for you? Like, I mean, do, have you learned any new skills? Yes. Since you've been, he's actually been putting a lot of work Content, on YouTube. Huh? Mm. And you absolutely love mm. that. So mm. what new skills have you learned? <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, t technique wise, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, there's... You know, there's always yes. the sweet picking. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just, just having different ways of ha tapping into the same yes. techniques which I do. So for example, if you're playing an arpeggio, you yeah. know, you can have yeah. on three mm -hmm. strings, you yeah. can have right. mm -hmm. on four strings, mm -hmm. you can have mm -hmm. on five strings. Yeah. You know, so those are the kind of things which yeah. I've been learning. Just the nuance of the guitar, mm -hmm. even note selection. Because, right. yeah. you know, as, as instrumentalists, you get boxed into your own pattern of playing. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you can predict the next note you're going to play. Yeah. <laughs> so what if you decide to play a different note? How are you going to react to that, you know, especially in real time? So that's what I've been learning. I've been learning more on improvisation. Also, wow. just also on, on management, managing my YouTube channel. You, and, you know, know? Something which Eddie Grimm also does. Because you've had mm. time, you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. quarantine has actually so done yeah. that it has. for mm. you. It has. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> Right. Oh, no, just yeah. generally, what do you think makes a great guitarist? If someone is Ooh. out there and they want to get into that, yeah, yeah. what should they, what should they, um, what should they consider? Yes. And who are some of your influences actually? Ooh, nice. Who in this field, in the rock industry? Rock industry. Locally, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I can start off with the influences. Yeah. So so my my rock influences, I would say. You know, guys like Michelangelo Batio, because mm -hmm. I, I like guitarists who play very fast. Mm -hmm. And I also like guitarists sure who does. play with nuance and, and very slowly. Like, I can be inspired by any type of guitarist. But, mm -hmm. 
traditionally are more of a technique based speed Ooh, power technical, yeah. and, and melody and, and all that so michelangelo batio mm -hmm. you know obviously my guitar teacher morris <laughs> the mm -hmm. guy who taught me how to play guitar mm -hmm. and i think he's in mombasa right now doing something i don't know um and and uh yeah so guys like satriani uh, yeah. even benjamin yeah. kabaseke yeah. shout yeah. out to a kenyan guitarist who i think yeah. is a beast. Is harsh, yeah. benjamin is a monster i remember yeah, seeing his yeah. youtube videos and i'm like yeah, these guys, okay. these guys are yeah it's crazy you know and since. yeah so uh -huh. so those are ammo you know yeah that's that's the groove Amo. man that's Amo a is another guy yeah. you know another yeah, guy yeah, crazy mad guy yeah. really cool dude mm. so i think he's he's awesome sinister gates is my main ah, okay. motivation as to why i started playing the guitar mm. i remember listening to the guitar solo for bad country mm -hmm. and i was like this guy is assaulting that instrument yeah <laughs> <laughs> so i need to learn how to play yeah, <laughs> that, that solo that's so that least, you know <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I, I, actually, um, another thing I wanted to know, uh, definitely, um, you being in different bands, like you've mentioned, mm -hmm. and yeah. you're not just a guitarist, you are a singer as well. Yeah. So are you more comfortable being a guitarist or would you rather be a lead singer? In you know, to be honest, uh, I prefer being a guitarist <laughs> yeah. because you know the guitar is in tune. Yeah, so the tune tumble. is there. So the yeah. only mistake you can make is hitting the wrong note. <laughs> and even then you can quickly do Co a crumb. Cover it up in a way. Yeah. Hey, vocals are sensitive. <laughs> and remember when I was on stage with Rish singing, I'm like, hey, yeah. Rish is over there doing some aggressive stuff. Yeah. Hey, me, I'm there. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> maintain one note. Hey, hey. It's like you inquire. So I'm more comfortable playing the guitar. Yeah, You'd rather yeah. be a yeah. guitarist. But I'm warming up towards singing. Oh, yeah. Would love to see that. Would definitely. Yeah. Wouldn't you like that? Yeah, he knows. We're just waiting. Some of us, that's why I'm not talking. Uh, some of us are like, just like, you just do it, bro. Just <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's my name. But I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Like, I definitely want to see that. Yeah. Now, so what do you think is actually limiting us? Like, the, the guys in the rock scene in Kenya, especially yeah. guitarists. What, what is the main challenge with guitarists or just Ooh. like artists are facing right now? Yeah. That's a complex question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I think the first one is is content. Mm -hmm. I think I think it all starts with the artist. Mm -hmm. And as, as we said earlier, you know, you have social media. Mm -hmm. So if you're a guitarist, just just put out content. Even yeah. a ten second thing, you yeah. know, of you just trying something. Yeah. So that way, you know, the, the entire ecosystem of, of the rock scene is going Identify. to have a portfolio. Yeah. Right? Exactly. It's going to have a portfolio which system on which we need uh, so uh, exactly. big time. Yeah, yeah. Him, shout out to you. And Jay of Crystal Axis has yeah. actually been doing that a lot. Jai, man. And Willie. Yeah. Yeah. Beast. Yeah. Willie, yeah. actually. Willie yeah, Jiro. Yeah, I've yeah. yeah, been cool. seeing like, a lot like, of content. Mm, mm, They've been mm, putting a lot of content yeah. on social media. So that's one of the things, putting out a lot of content. And mm. then, and then two, I, I think also doing collaborations with other genres. Yeah, yeah. well, and yeah. I, I think, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Especially the local fraternity. Yeah, yeah, you can do like a rock cover of Wasetun and the Yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. What you've been doing actually is Sotamu. Yeah. And speaking of that, do you know he actually did a cover of Chris Kaiga. Zimenais. Zimenais. Yeah, it's actually on YouTube. You have to check it out. He's not just talking about things he's not doing. Yeah, exactly. He's actually talking. Practical. He's talking the walk. The walk, yeah. Walking the talk. yeah. Both of them. <laughs> Preaching yeah. wine and drinking it. Drinking <laughs> 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 All right, so, um, I don't know. For guitar maintenance, is there anything for anyone who owns a guitar? Is there a specific uh, yeah. way you're supposed to maintain it? Yes. Uh, what are those? Like, maybe some pointers. Yeah, so, you know, you have the guitar, you have the guitar oil. Uh, oh. To clean the frets. Okay, mm. this is the first time you know, I'm hearing so there's that. that. Yeah, you always need to change your guitar strings. strings yeah. I think, what's the period? Is it a three weeks? Or yeah. month? Uh, three months. Okay, maybe do three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is for, you know, now I play uh, electric and bass. So for uh -huh. electric, is three months. Uh -huh. Bass cars like uh, a year. Yeah. Because sometimes the bass strings are expensive, man. Exactly, They're damn expensive. Exactly. So. And they also they have, they, also, they, have, they have long life. Depending yeah, on what you buy. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, but for guitar strings, because of the chafu and all that, exactly. yeah, three months so, is tamu. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, then also, yeah. yeah, just making sure that, you know, mm. you're checking the guitar if there are mm. any cracks anywhere. Yeah, yeah, like, treat it like a baby. Treat it like a baby, how you store it. Don't yeah, just come after a gig. To buy it, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. rockstar energy. You know. yeah. You're smashing the guitar, but you'll have to buy another one. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> take care of your guitar, and your guitar will take care of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah, true. So, um, I think, like, um, you know, the industry, we need the industry to grow. Yes. We can't be where we were last year, despite yeah. COVID, right? Yeah. So what if you were, you had a chance, yes. you as George, oh, okay, let me mm. call him hybrid intuition. Yeah. Now, you as hybrid, you have a chance to change the industry. What would you do differently? Or what would you want to see change or yeah. be done in the industry? I think, I think the one thing that would, would be cool, I, I think Mudoni, the drama queen, touched on this uh, in an Instagram yeah. video I watched today, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's talking about having rock shows, having rock concerts, mm -hmm. right? Really shedding a light onto the rock scene in Kenya. All right. yeah. Because what, what usually happens is that you have a very small um, 
you know, time slot for rock music. It's not that mainstream. You don't yeah, see but it on, uh, yeah. You know, radio stations, you don't yeah. see it uh -huh. in media, you don't mm. see. So yeah. if you can have festivals where you can have those kind of artists, uh -huh. you know, like you have people like Calligraph Jones uh -huh. and then you have PLG, Morris, Morris you know, coming together. Yeah. Uh, so true. that's that's one of the things which I Oh, I didn't know she young get about that. She she I saw it yeah. today, by the before Kujang, yeah. yeah. She was talking about rock. She's like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, and you should man. be sh shedding a light on the rock scene and showing uh, the talent, which is what you guys Yeah, are exactly. Like. We, we are trying. But that's nice coming from somebody like Mudoni who's in the mainstream. That's really exactly. it's heavy. That's Tamo was a big up Mudoni. Big, big up Mudoni, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's actually very interesting. So what next for you? Like, I know something interesting happening. This is the last question as we wind up because of yes, time. So yes. I want to know what next for you and remind guys your social media as well, where yeah. they can find your music and you personally. Yeah, so what's next for me is I'm working on my second album and I'll, I'll, be, I'll be singing on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm to <coughs> release it next year. Ooh, uh, okay. uh, God willing, maybe 2021 or 2022. We'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. We can wait. We can wait. You know, Things take time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, you know, then I'll be, I'll be traveling. You know, <laughs> as I told you. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, so yeah. yeah. I wanted to say that, but I'm like, okay, it's not my place to say, <laughs> so I'm just gonna let him <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I'll be, I'll be relocating to a, to a different location. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be leaving the country actually in a couple of days mm -hmm. for, for work, for actuarial things. Yeah. So, but still, we're going to keep the rock energy alive, mm -hmm. um, you know, on social Whichever media. place, and you're going, to, you're going to represent it for, for wherever you'll be. Yeah, you know, you That's go there as matters, a diplomat. Yeah. You go know, yeah. as a Kenyan diplomat. So, yeah, when guys you know. see you, they're like, hey, this is yeah, how, yeah, how all yeah, Kenyans yeah. are. It's like, He's yeah, yeah. we're yeah. all like this, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's the right way to think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Okay, yeah. so, um, yeah, your social media, where can people find your music, even buy your music, and you as well, yeah. You know, media. yeah, you can find me on uh, Hybrid Intuition. Yeah. That's on Instagram. Mm -hmm. That's on Twitter. That is on uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's on YouTube. Even on TikTok. I have like six videos on TikTok. I'm not doing ah. the dances, okay. but I'm playing the guitar. Maybe ah. I'll do a dance and then play yeah. the guitar at the same time. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, that can uh, be yeah. cool, yeah. yeah. And, and, and for my albums, you can get them on Bandcamp, mm -hmm. Hybrid Intuition as well. Uh, All right. Yeah. Cool. So that was amazing. Hybrid Intuition, guys. Make sure you do follow, follow, follow him mm -hmm. for more awesome content now he's going to be playing for us now before we go i want to tell you what we're playing on our top five at five before he plays for us because he has to play for us now on our top five at five mm -hmm. we have very interesting mm -hmm. jumps just new jumps that ca just came out mm -hmm. the number one on that song is his newest, newest release actually it's called healing and it's an original yeah mm -hmm. by hybrid intuition the mm -hmm. second song is by a band called i prevail the song is every time you leave our mm -hmm. third song is the smashing pumpkins the song is um SYR, and then we have uh, number four, that is Dan Worsnop featuring uh, Gerard Dines. They did an uh, Aerosmith cover of I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing, so it's new. We're gonna be playing that. This is our number four. Then the last song is by Deftones. It's actually called Ohms of the new album, which is also called Ohms. So, so, so now the hashtag is Rock254. We're gonna be putting up a post on Twitter, so make sure you go ahead and vote, vote, vote your favorite. So we're gonna be playing you that just after he plays for us. One song, then we do that, right? Cool. Keep it white, 254 keep it rock tour.